Welcome to Bloodwash. In this game, you play as Sarah, a pregnant college student living with her alcoholic boyfriend in a pretty rundown apartment complex. And to make matters worse, there's a serial killer that's targeting pregnant women and terrorizing Sarah City. Now I'm a huge fan of all these PS1 style horror games that have been recently coming out, and this one's been on my radar for a while, so I figured that it was only right that we platinumed it. So we begin our journey inside of Sarah's apartment as she's realizing that her deadbeat boyfriend Liam didn't do anything all day long, he didn't clean up, and he didn't do the laundry, and instead he just got very drunk and is now throwing up in the bathroom. With Sarah having an interview in the morning, we gather our dirty laundry and we head to the basement to use the washing machine. When we arrive to the basement, we realize that the washing machine is currently broken, but we also notice something else very strange is happening. Hobo Joe, you bastard. God damn girl, you scared the bejesus out of me. You scared the bejesus out of me. After we get the bejesus scared out of us by our good old buddy Hobo Joe, we head on back up to the apartment before talking to our neighbor Stan. We chatted up a bit with Stan before Sarah mentions to him that the washer's broken down, and then Stan recommends her to a laundromat on the outskirts of town which is actually open 24-7. But he also warns her that it's probably not a good idea to go out late at night because there's a maniac running around. Sarah then reminds Stan that she's a big girl and she asks for the laundromat's address anyway. We thank him and then we return to our apartment to grab Sarah's purse before heading down to the bus stop. Right. Okay. But before the bus arrives, we have a friendly Let's conversation with the neighborhood junkie, right. and then we have a lovely conversation with a nice, nice. homeless man by this fire pit, who also lets us know that nice. he actually has the exact oh. same college degree That's as Sarah. Great. Huh. Bitch. Eventually the, the bus arrives, down, so the bus driver gives us a warm welcome, again. and we take our seat. And shortly after we, we take our seat, one. we have another friendly bus goer join us. It's so dark out, I couldn't even see the street. He's gonna be right there, right? Yep. Hey, bud. Hello. Hello. May I sit beside you? That's definitely not creepy at all. Yeah, good, good, good name on this guy. Creepy guy. There's plenty of other seats, so I don't see why you would need to do that. You're going to die tonight. Yikes. And finally, after oh. a lovely conversation with our brand new bestie, we make Thank it to our God. destination, the laundromat. And we pop our first trophy for completing Yikes. the prologue. Hey. So the bus then drops us off, and we begin to observe the area a little bit just before this weird sound starts happening. What the hell is that sound? What the hell was that? What's going on? After that weird alien sound, we head on into the laundromat hey, to begin our laundry for the night. I find this TV remote just sitting there, so I take it and I begin flipping through the channels on the TV in the corner. Whoa. And without even knowing, we pop our next trophy. I do. I do enjoy TV. I then grab this Game Boy Advanced from the Lost and Found before going to grab some change and popping my laundry into the washing machine. Hey, let's go. Laundry started. Start the laundry. We then venture outside to go check out the other places that are open around this area, and we start off at the store called Peepaws. And let me just say that Peepaws had the weirdest assortment of stuff I've ever seen in any store ever. Vintage cereal? The year on this box is too faded to read. Horror movies, horror movies on sale, some really good deals on here. Oh, made console. The Master System is out now, but this is still my favorite. What type of store is this? This dude sells video games right next to fish and horror movies, and then soda and cereal and laundry detergent. Oh, Peepaw, what are you doing? My guy. Huh. Gotcha. You did get me. You're not stealing anything? No, Peepaw. <laughs> my apologies. Yikes, buddy. After Peepaw accuses us of stealing, we find this Ouija, Ouija board, board just buried in the corner of these shelves. And it seems like it's been possessed by a this demon. This Ouija board has been used for evil. Oh my god. But we get a trophy oh from it, god. so that's good. Spirit summoner. Find Peepaw's Next Ouija up, we board. make our way over to the Did pizza place. There? Hey, pizza dude. Can I get you anything? Can I get you anything, bro? Like... Can I, can I get you a pizza, maybe? Shaka, brah, shaka. We're closing soon. I quickly head back to the laundromat to transfer my laundry from the washing machine to the dryer, and then I hear the front counter bell ring, and when right I walk here. over there, there's just the bathroom the key sitting there. So, Where's we pick key? that up and we make our way over to the bathrooms, obviously going into the woman's room first, because we are lady. And immediately upon entering, hey. we find the final comic book. Hey, avid reader. Collect all the comic books, or find all the comic books. We find a random phone number on the wall in the stall next yeah. door, and then we pull out our Game Boy Advance to try and get the highest score on that game. Porky's Revenge. Press cross button to start, and circle button to quit. 
What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Just this? And after getting that high score, we get yet another trophy. Oh, high score killer. Get a high score of 15 or more in Porky's Revenge. Okay, let's back out because it's so loud. After that, we get another two trophies, one for exploring both of the bathrooms. Janitor, explore all the bathrooms. Let's go. And another one for collecting all the evidence hey, around the area. Detective, collect all the evidence. Let's go. I then notice something pretty strange. There's a foot in here. What do you got going on in there, friend? Okay, bye. Scariest dude. Oh! Who the hell is this? Oh! Oh my god. Just a mannequin. Yikes. That got me. After getting spooked, I make my way back on over to the pizza shop to get the high score on the arcade machine over there. Oh, let's go. Now we're doing it. Oh no. Ah, capitalist casualty. Get a high score of 5,000 on Run Bums. That's what the name of the game is called, Run Bums? That's hilarious. <laughs> Oh, old woman. Immediately after exiting the pizza place, this old woman bombards us, but it's okay because we get another trophy. Talk to all NPCs, chatterbox. Hey. We then make our way back over to the laundromat to give that phone number we found in the bathroom a call. And in hey, doing so, we get call. ourselves another trophy. Talk to the call girl. As well as a very cryptic it's message from now. the operator. Uh-oh. You need to take your laundry right now and get out of there as fast as you can. It cut out, yep. After that, we decide to go and check on the employee napping in the back, okay. and well... Whoa! It's it's oh, the he's been ripped to shreds. Oh my god, he can just like kick his body around too. Look at his body. He's like wiggling around. Look at him do the little wiggle. Look, he's dancing. He's still shaking his hips. He's still got it. He's still got movement. Look at him go. Hey. Mm, 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 mm. Look at him go. This guy's got it. Still wiggling. This might just come in handy later. A hammer? Nothing useful in here. How short is this lady that she's like not even up to the desk? Am I crouching? We finally call 911 and then after that a police officer arrives and we play as him for a little bit. Officer Burton. Shortly after we begin our investigation, we hear a very strange sound. Oh my god, dude. It's okay, buddy. We all don't like income tax. Nobody likes it. Locked. And after that, locked. It happened. Whoa, what is that? Oh! What the fuck was that? Yeah, what the fuck was that? Holy Jesus. Was it holding a child? Oh my god. We then immediately try to find an escape. Oh my oh. god, I'm glad to see you. God, brother, scaring the crap out of me. You gotta help me. There's some crazy person running around with a knife. Just follow me and I'll get you out of here. Oh, that was quick. Oh man, how do I shoot? Shit, there has to be another way out of here. And in a last ditch effort to escape, we enter the vents, cause that's always a good decision, right? Enter the vents, of course. He wants me to enter the vents. These are some big vents. I feel like I'm standing up. Oh! Jeez. Ow. But unfortunately, the end of the vents means the end of our officer friend. But another trophy, so that's a plus. Face to face with the nightmare. We then watch our friendly laundromat goer get his life taken oh, away. Damn. He did. Oh, he's in the laundry. Oh. Finally, it's there time it we put this hammer to good use, and we take down this wall, which is Aha. covering this hidden door. There's a door. Eventually, we make it to this room in the back, and we find a whole bunch of weird stuff. What are these doing here? I should probably leave. 
Oh. It won't open. What am I supposed to do? Hey. After we escape, we're met with this pretty gruesome saw-like puzzle. The cracks I saw it creates these masks out of skin, skin from poor infants whose mothers were just slaughtered. Damn. I don't know what kind of game it's wanting to play. I think my time is almost up. It made me swallow a key, a key that would get me out of here, but I have a feeling it won't let me live long enough to use it. I'll be strung up and butchered like the rest and my baby, oh god, I'm sorry, my little angel. That's so scary, dude. Oh my god. Oh, it's in you. I can't believe I'm doing this. Sorry, lady. That's gross. I feel so bad. Let's skedaddle. Ooh. Oh. Oh. She has had her, uh, looks like the baby was removed. It's time to hustle. Oh, I see you. Where are you going? Come back. Finally, after Ooh. being messed with by the maniac, we finally find the officer's gun Ooh. and some ammo. Locked and loaded, baby. Found the gun and the ammo. And then it's time for the final showdown. Yes, we can. Come out, you asshole. Yeah, come out, Ready asshole. For you. Come out, asshole. That's a mannequin. I see you. What the hell is this thing? Get over here, bitch. Why are you running into the wall? You're stuck. He's stuck against the wall. When does this... When does this end? Uh... Am I just... Did I break the game? What happened? Did I win? Did I break it? Is the game broken? I think I broke the game. After breaking the game, we quickly restarted and got right back to it. I'm ready for you. Where are you? Son of a bitch. Come on out. Oh! Scared the crap out of me. He was stalking me. I got you again. You come back. One more. One more. Where'd you go? Ah! Come back. One more. Where'd you go? Yeah! You down. Survivor. Survived the womb reaper. The womb ripper. <laughs> and just like that, we have survived the womb ripper. Lewis Kennedy or was so this? we thought. Oh no, poor Doug. What the hell? The power went out. The fuse box is down the hall. I'll be right back. Don't you go anywhere. Obviously, she's gonna go somewhere. Why are they always alone, you know? Why are morticians always alone? Of course. What the? She's gone. I have to get out of here. How do you get out of here? Run! Oh! <laughs> it's not over. Finish the epilogue. Hey, Platinum Trophy, Tape Master. 100% completion. That was nice and easy. I liked that though. That was a good little horror game. Very easy Platinum to get if anyone out there is looking for a nice and easy Platinum. Okay, later.